afternoon YouTube here with you on this um, Monday afternoon here uh, I'm still playing around with this little transmitter thing <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what I've been doing with it and what I have planned for it uh, I am going to put it back into the cabinet case whatever you want to call it and uh, set it up to where I can use it for the purposes that I've been playing around with and I think I'm going with the original original layout uh, that the guy used in his video um, just seems like it's the better of the two uh, ways of doing it and that's what the plan is so um, I've been working with this this little deal here I don't know uh, that's the uh, little transformer that uh, I was using to uh, impedance match the transformer. And I'm trying to uh, get it set up to where this can be used in a, a breadboarding type uh, situation where these uh, connectors here can be used with those pin connectors of the uh, breadboarder. You just put, put your pins in there and connect this any way you want. You still, I still got a center tap on this side. The uh, black wire is a center tap, so you know it, it's a good little transformer to use for breadboarding. And I'm gonna try to find another one to actually use with this radio here. Uh, it's it's not a critical part. Uh, the guy in his video used a a, a weed uh, weed whacker power supply or something, and uh, it was kind of unusual. It was just a little wall wart, what it was. But uh, so I probably got one that's it's no good over there that I can grab a transformer out of and that's what I'm going to use and try it with that see what happens so all right let me show you what's going on and we'll get get back to uh, something I just can't get motivated I, I didn't I was telling Bob I just no just you know don't really feel like doing anything <laughs> so I think it's part of the rain you know it's been raining here a couple days so all right let me get to show you what what's going on Alright, this is what we got going here is the uh, the uh, chassis for the radio or the transmitter slash whatever. Um, I have put a jumper in here. This is where the uh, I took these uh, IF cans out, both of those, and I also took the loop stick out. And I may may reuse this uh, mount for the resistor. I'm not really sure yet exactly what I'm doing. With it, but uh, like I said, the, the two uh, IF cans, those are off. Um, this is going to be taken out also, this socket and this socket. Let's see if you can see. I don't think you can see both of them. Might help if I put the camera where it needs to be. But these two sockets are leaving, and there will be a 300 ohm 10 watt resistor taking its place. That's the resistor I was talking about mounting on that uh, loop stick mount. Um, again, this is uh, this jumper here is taking the place of the primary of the uh, I believe that's T1 uh, transformer, IF transformer, so that the uh, tube still gets its power. Um, this uh, resistor here is a 3.3 ohm resistor. This takes the place of the speaker. Uh, so. Everything else, I think, is cool. I was going to take this 12AV6 socket out also, but I need that. That's actually part of the audio circuit. That's the first audio for the uh, 50C5, the preamp, if you will. And uh, so, again, I, I did I did mount this back to the uh, uh, top of the uh, tuning capacitor. And I'm going to leave that that way. I think that's the best way for it. And uh, I think that's about it. So that's uh, that's what I've been doing with this. Uh, again, this uh, transformer. Get that. I'm going to find another transformer to use for this radio or transmitter thing. And I'm not going to use this one. This is going to be my breadboarding transformer when I get it done. So I'm going to do the same thing for the oscillator coil that I bought some time ago. If you recall that from uh, Antique Radio Supply or Antique. Is it an an Antique? Electronic supply, maybe that's what it is. Uh, I bought that some time ago. Anyway, I'm going to mount that somewhere like that. 
and that's what I'm up to. So this is pretty much what I'm doing. And uh, like I say, Kylie was here this weekend and uh, took up a lot of my time, so I didn't make videos. So I had to uh, take her to work one day, and I forget. But anyway, I had to had to do that, deal with her, and uh, like I said, that's pretty much what we were doing. And I just lost my motivation for working on things, so I'm going to get it back. You know how I am. I go hot and cold on these things. So let me get back to the other camera and close this out. Oh, I know. I know one other thing I, I wanted to mention I forgot uh, is uh, the uh, schematic for this. I, I, I kind of worked it over, reworked it, and I'm, uh, I've come up with a uh, pretty much uh, finalized version of it. I'm going to flash that up on the screen so that you can take a look at it. And you can see uh, on the uh, schematic I have removed the IF cans and the uh, the tube sockets that uh, I'm going to be replacing and replaced them with the 300 ohm 10 watt resistor as you can see in the filament string there and the uh, diode is into the uh, replace the uh, 35W4 as the diode so that's uh, what I'm going to do, and like I say, as soon as that comes in, that, those, uh, that uh, resistor has been ordered. In fact, there was three of them, I think, for four-something shipped, and I thought that was a better deal than you could get from DigiKey, which was basically the same price shipped for uh, one. So, uh, like I say, that's, that's what I did, and uh, that'll be in. So, All right, like I say, let's close this out. All right, back, back with you one more time for a sign-off. Um, that's what I'm going to do, sign off. Uh, I'm, I've got the uh, camera mounted, or not mounted, but sitting on top of the uh, amplifier, the bench amplifier, uh, again. Instead, of, It's about uh, maybe three quarters of an inch higher there than over on the screwdriver holder. And, you know, I try to sit up a little bit <laughs> when I'm doing it, so that's, that's my compensation for that. Uh, I think probably what I'm going to do is uh, I've got a couple things I want. I want to take a socket out of this uh, uh, radio transmitter thing, and uh, like I said, that's what I'm going to do. Take that socket out and maybe take both sockets out because I don't need both. Uh, and that's you know get get it ready for the two for the uh, resistors to get here and figure out where I'm going to put that resistor. Uh, I'm thinking, like I said, that uh, would it would mount on that pretty nice uh, if I could find some way of uh, mounting it onto this mount with a heat sink of some kind. And I'll look around and see what I've got, but that's that's what I'm thinking. Uh, just something to give it a little heat sink. I mean, it's I think it figures out to seven seven watts is what the uh, actual uh, wattage dissipation is needed and it's a 10 watt resistor so um, like I said that's quite a bit of wattage and uh, there's uh, 150 milliamp I believe flowing through the uh, filament circuit and so that's what that is so let me uh, let me get off here and uh, you guys have a wonderful wonderful day I do appreciate you watching and we will See you. That's all, folks.